We're with Greg Sipes at New York Comic Con 2013. Blessings. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the blessings in Buyakasha. Ah, uh, that was that's perfect. Uh -huh. So, Greg, you are known as the voice of Michelangelo I on am Mike. Team, Team yes. Ninja Turtles, which is fantastic. Now, I know that. You and I were both fans of the original show yes. because I've heard you on uh, Rob's podcast and everything. Yeah. So, what um, when you were a kid, you watched Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What else do you watch? I'm curious. <laughs> um, only the turtles. Okay, just the turtles all the time. And Michelangelo. You mean now or back then? Well, either one. You know what? Either one. I'm I'm interested in all kinds of animation. So. <laughs> well, really, back then it was, it was all about the turtles. Uh huh. Um, Back then, I didn't watch too much TV other than the turtles because I wanted to go outside and play. That's I fair. wanted to go outside and skateboard like the turtles. I wanted to go to karate class and learn martial arts like the turtles. So it was really, <laughs> it really influenced me a lot. That's really cool. Now, um, how old were you when you first started watching it? Eight years old. Eight years old. Awesome. And was was Michelangelo always your favorite? Who yeah, was your... Mikey was always my favorite. Although, uh -huh. I probably dressed up as a turtle for Halloween many many times uh -huh. and um i've probably been all the turtles <laughs> have you ever been splinter <laughs> no not yet oh, no. this maybe, halloween maybe this halloween yeah, yeah it's coming up yeah so now as a as a huge fan and now of course you've done a lot of voiceover and everything but what was it like getting the role of michelangelo in the in the new turtle well the one season old turtle oh my gosh when Ciro Nieli told me he was um making the new show and you'd worked with him before I've right i worked with Ciro on teen titans and yeah his show, Super Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go, that he created. <laughs> that you can, I'm very impressed you can say that. Well, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a great show, Super uh -huh. Robot Monkey Team Hyperforce Go. Anyways, he goes, I'm doing Turtles and I want you to be a turtle. And I was uh -huh. like, what? It just, sound, it just it seemed like a dream, right? I was like, really? Yeah. And of course I had to go through the casting process, which took like a year. Uh-huh. And um, a year for real? And then when I got the phone yeah. Wow. And then when I got the phone call, you know, the contract, the deal came through. Mm hmm It was really maybe one of the best days of my life. That's really cool. Yeah. Did you call everybody you knew and be like, yeah, guess what? I'm a turtle. <laughs> I'm a turtle. Yeah. And did they all say we knew it would happen someday? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> That's really cool. It just made sense, you know, Nickelodeon hired me because I felt like I really am like the real life Mikey. Yeah, it's, well, it sounds like it from all your hobbies and all of your, you know, everything. So now, I know that, of course, Rob Paulson, who was on the original, yeah. is on the new one. What was it like working with someone? Was that, like, what was that experience oh, like? Cool. Or, you know, I honestly don't remember what any of the turtles sound like from the original show at all, uh -huh. nor did I listen to them. Right. So what I brought to Mikey was just me. Mm -hmm. Did uh, you do that on purpose so that you could bring your own? Uh, well, I don't watch much of uh, anything these days anyway, because I'm still very active. I I like to mm -hmm. be doing things rather than watch TV, but unless the turtles are on. <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't do any kind of research to go back and listen to anything. I just brought myself to it and what I felt Mikey would be, which is ultimately me. Sure, yeah. Like, you know, now, a dimension of myself. Yeah, so with the new turtles, um, what do you think about the current, first of all, the direction of the show and also the look of the show is yeah. very different. Oh, it's so, so, what's cool. your. Yeah. It's so cool. I think it's the hottest thing on TV right now. Better than any live action show. Mm -hmm. um, it's set a new standard in the animation world as far as TV animation goes. It's like yeah. every episode's a standalone movie. Yeah. Like feature film quality, animated CG thing. But it's not just CG, it's this new mix of, you know, Ciro's notorious for kind of creating new brown, uh, groundbreaking um, styles of animation like he did with Teen Titans. Uh -huh. It's got like the anime mixed comic book thing with the CG thing and there's all kinds of it looks a little bit like a video game sometimes yeah, you know but not 100% yeah, well, it's, yeah it's got everything going on mm -hmm. That's really cool. And what about the direction of the? Eyes. It is. It's really. I. I actually went into it being like, oh, I love the old one, yeah. and I'm not sure. But then I started watching, it and I was like, this is the best yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> so with the storyline so far, do you like where that's going? Do Do you know anything about what What's in store for Mikey? I know what's in store, that's for? in store Can you but tell I can't us tell anything? You anything? <laughs> you tell I mean, he's Mikey's. You know, growing up a little bit, he's got more experience. He's wiser. Mm -hmm. But he really hasn't changed. Um, he's still very uh, free spirited, and um, he's a Nowist. You know, he he just uh, he 
he's just wild, and that's a, it's a really fun to play someone who's, he brings that out of myself, mm -hmm. you know, but he does become more intelligent based on experience, as we all do, okay, so he yeah. kind of maybe steps into the leader role more. Uh-huh. I enjoy that about this show, that it started with them not being so sure of themselves yeah. and everything, so yeah. that'll be nice to see. So, um, what do you, what do you most, what was, do you have a favorite episode from the last season? Do you have a favorite? My favorite episode from season one? Mm -hmm. Gosh, it's so hard to, to go back and do it. I really am a nowist. I don't think yeah. about the future. I don't think about the past. So once I've experienced it and I've done it, I don't think about it again. So for me to go back is difficult. Also because we've done so many episodes. Yeah, that's I do, fair. I do eight other cartoons. So it, all these different worlds kind of mesh together. That is fair. I, um, I, I personally love the one where he had the teapot. That was really teapot, cute. Teapot, of course. For Mikey, that was a great episode. I just, it's yeah. so fun. I always play Mikey that, I don't know, it's, it's like... Every episode is really cool, very fun. They always give me fun situations to be in. Yeah, I've, I've heard that um, recording with everybody can be a lot of fun. Do you have any good stories about that or anything? Actually, like? you know what? I do have a good story working with Roseanne Barr. She plays Prime oh, Krang. Right, okay. And she's awesome. She's so funny. <laughs> wow. And she's a friend of mine. And I actually, before you know, she got the role, they were like, who's going to play uh, Crank Prime and I was like it should be Roseanne and it was such a f so far out there casting just yeah. but Ciro was into it and uh -huh. we made it happen so it was really cool to have her on the show that's really neat and work with yeah. her in the, the booth that's fantastic so now you're working on like you said like eight other shows tell me a little bit about what else you know tell, tell the viewers what are you what else are you doing this, these days that we should look for you in and everything well I have a show called Teen Titans Go yeah. which is a wild crazy funny goofy show uh -huh. that keeps getting crazy uh -huh. I'm on Ultimate Spider-Man. I play okay. um, Iron Fist, Danny Rand. Oh, I don't know if I need... Okay, that's really cool. Uh, yeah. I got some stuff. I can't say much other than I've been hired on Korra. Oh, uh, that's a great franchise and show. Yeah. But yeah, that with Avatar and everything, that's fantastic. What else? I'm on The Middle on ABC. They keep mm -hmm. having me back. These are live action shows. Yeah, you have some live action roles, um, right, yeah. Recently, I just finished a big arc on Anger Management with Charlie Sheen. Okay. I got a couple movies coming out, uh -huh. and I'm also producing and directing my own TV stuff now. Oh, and what I do have you a, talk, talk about that a little bit? I have a company bit. that I just started with um, Rose McGowan. We have okay. A, a television film production company cool. called RMGC okay. and Productions, and we're right. creating our own original uh, content and going around and pitching it and yeah. making these these things happen ourselves. That's awesome. So are you in the pitching process? Has something yeah. been picked up yet, or is it still kind of... I can't kinda, say, but we are pitching a lot okay, of great. original things that we've created. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. And do you have a place where people can go to look for some of that when it starts? Do you have a website that's yeah, good for... Yeah, gregsipes.com. Okay. All right, so for all the viewers, yeah. great. Yeah. So now talking about you, you've done live action you've done the voices and everything do you have do you find what's the difference in those experiences do you prefer one or the other do you have any um, <laughs> insight into like for people who are aspiring to be one or the other what one or the other meaning uh, voice actor and or live action well, or everyone's always asked me how can you do all of it because uh -huh. not only am I an actor I'm a musician I'm a director I'm that's a right yeah. surfer I'm I'm a painter, but ultimately where I make money is in the entertainment world in general and specifically acting. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot, you know, a lot of it's from animation. Mm -hmm. But just do what you love. Okay. I do it all. I yeah. do movies, TV shows, animation, you know, music, all of it. Just do it. Because if you love it, um, that's all that matters. Cool. So you just do it if you love yeah. it. And you'll get better and better at it. And, and now then people music. Yes. And now music, I know you play guitar, right? So what else do you, I know you, you had a CD out, and yeah. are you working on something else, or? Yeah, I'm uh, putting out a solo album uh -huh. titled Sipes. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so that's coming out soon. I'm going to cool. start releasing singles and that's funny, wild music videos. And then I also, I put a music video out recently with a, a side project called Super Space Fighters, which is based on a comic book that I've created. Okay. That's called yeah, Super Space Fighters, and there's a music video right now called International Kid Notorious on is YouTube. Is that it's on YouTube? Yeah. Okay, cool. So people can search yeah. just search for International, yeah, International Kid, Kid Notorious, Notorious and find by that. Super Space Fighters. That's really. Cool. Really, I'm focusing on my solo career now. Mm -hmm. That's really awesome. Yeah. Um, oh, and I put an album out in 2007 with my band called Sipes and the People. Okay, and what was that album called? I... The Conscious Revolution. Right, I was, I was going to say, yeah. I know I've seen that one yeah. floating around there yeah. before. That's really cool. Um, this is all fantastic. Yeah.
can you do me a favor? Let's give a shout out for Comic Mix. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if you're not reading ComicMix.com, you don't know what's up. This is Mikey from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Booyakasha!